Coming up on First at Four, the search for a murder suspect in Lee County, Virginia continues at this hour, nearly 22 hours after a shelter in place order was issued. And police in Pennsylvania capture a wanted man after a two week manhunt there. Plus, the weather is more fall like for the remainder of the work week. Your full forecast coming up as Mountain News First at Four starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, the Lee County, Virginia Sheriff's Office is still searching for murder suspect Jason Dockery after he disappeared into a tree line in Ewing, Virginia, Tuesday afternoon. Yesterday around three o'clock, people in Lee County, Virginia were warned by law enforcement to stay indoors and not approach any strangers. We spoke to a family member of someone on lockdown in Lee County. He says the situation leaves him with an uneasy feeling. Exactly. And that's scary. And this, you know, my brother and his wife and kids are over there. And like I said, Lee County is not a very big county. It could be in his backyard, but nobody would know it. You know, it's, it's scary. It's scary. The U.S. Marshal Service is offering up to a $5,000 reward to anyone who is able to offer information that leads to Dockery. He is wanted out of Anderson County, Tennessee in a homicide case and on violations of probation in an assault case. The manhunt for an escaped prisoner in Pennsylvania is now over. Authorities finally located Danello Cavalcante in a rural part of Chester County nearly two weeks after he went on the run. CBS's Bradley Blackburn has the latest. State police in Pennsylvania finally nabbed escaped inmate Danello Cavalcante, seen here in handcuffs and a damp Eagle sweatshirt as officers led him to a waiting SWAT vehicle Wednesday morning. Our nightmare is finally over and the good guys won. The break came around midnight when a burglar alarm went off within the police perimeter in Chester County. Officers didn't find Cavalcante, but began to zero in on an area where aircraft picked up a heat source. Around 8 a.m., tactical teams made their move. They were able to move in very quietly. They had the element of surprise. Cavalcante did not realize he was surrounded until that had occurred. But he didn't surrender. He began to crawl through thick underbrush, taking his rifle with him as he went. A dog finally subdued the suspect. Thank God there were no injuries to law enforcement or to the public. Cavalcante broke out of the Chester County Prison two weeks ago, crab walking up the walls. His time on the lam included stealing and ditching a van, stealing a 22 caliber rifle from a garage, and putting the entire area on alert. It's been definitely a fear factor um, because I have a four-year-old little boy. Authorities say Cavalcante will be returned to full justice, serving a life sentence for the murder of his ex-girlfriend in front of her two children. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. County commissioners say changes are already being made to bolster security at the prison. Authorities had offered a $25,000 reward for information leading to Cavalcante's capture. Well, as expected, the weather is fantastic on Wednesday, and that will continue into Thursday and Friday as some cooler and drier air filters into the region. Here's a live look across the mountains right now from WYMT Studios to Jenkins to Moorhead, also at the London Corbin Airport. Plenty of sunshine, also blue sky, and those temperatures are very comfortable this afternoon. Most of us in the 70s, a few lower 80s, 81 for Jonesville, also 81 for Somerset, 78 for Jackson, and 73 over in Pikeville. So so we are below average as that cooler and drier air does filter in. Up on the radar, we are dry as that cold front is now near the eastern coast. So we are dry as high pressure does filter in and that will continue as we go into this evening, also into tonight. So if you have any plans, we stay dry under a clear sky. Those temperatures falling into the lower 50s for most of us as we wake up on Thursday. But some upper 40s cannot be ruled out as you wake up and walk out the door on Thursday as that cooler and drier air does continue to close out the work week, but some more rain chances on the way by the middle of this weekend. All those details coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. One Southern Kentucky mother is seeking justice for the man involved in the crash which killed her 21-year-old son earlier this month. 
Zachary Mathis died on September 3rd in a crash in Corbin. His mother, Tasha Whitehill, says she is partnering with Mothers Against Drunk Driving to bring awareness to the issue and try to keep anyone else from having to go through something like this. From that day, uh, the emotion. No mother should have to deal with that. No mother should have to identify their child and the disregard that he had for my son's life. On Monday, 26-year-old James Barnes was charged with vehicular homicide in the case. Barnes was initially taken to UK hospital for injuries he suffered after the crash. Coming up on First at Four, torrential rains deliver catastrophic floods to one North African nation. And chilly air is on the way for your morning commute on Thursday and Friday. The details on some lows in the 40s coming up after this break.